welcome back to the Riverside Township Senior Exercise Class. I am Kim Wade, your host from Inner Gaze Yoga. I also run Inner Circle, the healthy habit group for wild women over 40. Today, we are gonna get wild, and I know you guys are wild. We are talking to core, to our bellies, strong and powerful fires that is the glimmer in our eye and the glow in our skin. So grab the chair, grab a pillow, maybe even a belt, and let's get started. See you soon. Namaste. Hello, hello. So we are in our yoga class and today we're gonna to focus on stability and ease. And you might notice that I'm wearing my jeans because I can wear jeans in my yoga. I also have my bare feet because I can wear my bare feet in my yoga. But some of you who have orthopedics, you might feel more comfortable in your feet. But I hope you're not getting too close of a look on my feet because they're not so ready. But what we're gonna focus on today is stability and ease. Now, there's a saying, with stability and ease comes maturity and clarity. I'm gonna say that again. With stability and ease comes maturity and clarity. BKS Iyengar, he's the one that brought yoga to the Western world, taught us that. So every time we're doing a yoga pose, what we're seeking is stability and ease because then we have maturity, we have wisdom, and we have clarity. We see ourselves as we really are. So that's what we're gonna focus on today. So are you ready? I don't hear you. Okay, let's do it. So finding a line sitting on the very edge of your chair, we want to have our knees right over the second, third toe lined up with our hips. This is how long or wide our hips are, that's how wide our knees are, and that's how wide our ankles are. That's pretty important, so double check that you have that. And we're going to sit up nice and tall. Start to notice your breath and start to find yourself here. The first two steps of mindfulness, number one, how am I showing up today? How do I feel? Do I physically feel a certain way? Emotionally, am I cranky? Am I tired? Noticing anything that's going on with you is our first step. I know you can do it. So let's check in with that. How am I showing up today? If you've never done this before, it kind of feels a little weird, doesn't it? Just turning on what we call the witness part of our brain. It's like we're watching ourselves, like a little scientist just checking in to notice, is my neck hurt? Do I have a headache? Is my ankle bumming me out? What's going on? And then the second step is, can I just be with it? Can I find a way to just be at peace in this next minute, no matter what's going on with my body or my heart? Let's check in on that. Can I just be with it? And maybe you'll hear a resounding no. And that's part of yoga too. My favorite part of yoga is to be doing it when I'm not at my best. I really find that to be the best. So checking in here, can I just be with it? How's that feel? Does that feel kind of weird to do? Well, you're not alone. We're all here doing it together. Turning on this, what I like to say, the inner gaze. Okay, looking inward, checking to see how you're showing up. Okay, stability and ease. Let's check and see what that really means. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna reach our right arm forward. See how I've moved my shoulder out of the socket? And then I'm gonna plug it back in. And then I'm gonna reach it out and then I'm gonna plug it back in. I'm gonna reach it out and plug it back in and reach it out and plug it back in. I reach my hand, no. And then reach and then no, one more. Reach it out and plug it in and then release. Let's do it eight times on the other side. Reach it out and plug it in and reach and in. We're gonna get ready for our big dance break. Three, four, take it on the road, five, and six, two more, and seven, 
and a good release. So what I like to think of this, this is out of integrity, this is in integrity. This is out of integrity, this is in integrity. So we want to be noticing if we're stable and at ease, we have to be in integrity. The same thing happens with our hips. So keeping this chain of events, go ahead and take your hands, spiral them open, grab whatever you can reach on your chair and turn your hip open and turn your hip closed and turn your hip open and turn your hip closed. Notice that I'm keeping the knee and the toes lined up. That's pretty important. I always think of Olivia Newton-John in Greece. Do you guys remember that movie? Where she says, tell me about it, stud. This is the movement she does with her hip. Two and one. You guys remember that movie? Switching sides now. Open, close. If you have any kind of artificial knee or artificial hip and this feels achy or throbby or, you know, you've got to honor that. You've got to really notice. Remember, what am I presenting with? How am I showing up? Can I be with it? Heck no. Then you would back off. Two more. Move in that body. Juicing up those joints. Last one. Good. And coming to neutral. Now here comes a big challenge, and I know not everybody can do it. So here's one way that we get out of the chair. <sighs> right, we pull ourselves out of the chair, right? Let's go back down. Another way we could get out of the chair is we could hold on, oh, trying to pull ourselves out of the chair. And you can see that my body goes all out of alignment here. So what I'd like you to practice, and maybe you're not here yet, and maybe you're not gonna be here anytime soon, but I want you to practice this idea where you're lifting as best you can without using your hands. And the idea is that you're leaning forward and you're using a strong push against the floor and then you're coming back down, leaning forward and sitting down. Again, this may not be where you are today. This may not be accessible. Where am I presenting? I'm leaning forward, push the earth and come up. Pushing my back, tailbone reaching for the stool. I hope it's back there and coming back down. Twice more, leaning forward, try not to use your hands. And exhale, reaching back for that tailbone, reaching for the stool and down one more. Push the earth away, come on up. And last time, sitting down. And if you have to use your hands, that means that's where yoga is meeting you today. So I want you to honor that, okay? Definitely honor it. How's that feel? Let's take a pause here. How am I showing up? How did that feel? And can I just be with it? Let's take about three breaths. Now, I said we were going to do a dance number, and you thought I was kidding, but I'm not. You ready? Let's get out of the chair, however you need to do it. Up we go. All right, I'm going to move my chair out of the way, and we're going to do some hip swivels, okay? So we're going to pop the hip this way and pop the hip that way, back and forth, and back and forth, and move it and move it sliding it. Our lower back loves this, right? It's walking. Notice that I'm keeping my toes down. I'm just lifting my heels. Now, if you're a fancy pants like me, I don't know if you know, but I'm a fancy pants. I'm going to go pop, 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 pop. See if you can do it with a little sassy face too. Sassy face, sassy face, sassy face, sassy face. If you don't pull your knees in, I don't want you to do anything dangerous, but if you can, maybe you'll turn. Sassy face, sassy face, sassy face, sassy face. And you'll come back to center. Now we're gonna do pelvic tilts forward and reaching back and 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 find your mountain pose. How is that? You still got your sassy face on. 
So we are moving our bodies in a way that feels stable, but at ease, right? Stable and at ease. It means we can move with grace, but we also have integrity. So let's challenge ourselves. And I know balance is very tricky for many of you. So that's why it's really nice to have a chair nearby. Okay, you can always hold on to the chair or a wall. So we're gonna come into what we call Vrikshasana, which is a tree pose. So we could take our hands to prayer if that feels right for us, or you could hold on to the chair. And the first thing we're gonna do is just lift the right leg. Most of us do a little hip bump there. We don't want the hip bump now. We want the hip to drop. You want to keep this pelvis level. So notice if you're hiking it up and see if you can drop it. Some of you might be able to interlace your fingers or hold the leg, still holding onto the chair. Some of you might be able to open that leg like we were doing and put the foot on the leg. I know some of you might go all the way up, but chances are not too many of us. So the, leg, the foot is below the knee or you could keep the toes on and just lean that heel on the ankle. And then look at this left side, nice and strong in our tree pose. You could take your arms up, or you could open the trees like branch, branches of a tree, and you could hold here. So let's see if we can hold 10, 9, 8, 7, stability and ease, 5, 4, three, two, it's windy where I am. Is it windy where you are? One, and gently close it, kick it like you mean it, and reset, dance break. Mm, 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 mm. Pop it, pop it, spin in a circle. Pop it, pop it, spin in a circle. Setting up for the second side. If you need to move your chair, move it. Balance is really key. And I hear you guys already going, it's so hard. Why am I not balancing? What's going on with me? And I know balance is a really tricky thing. The first thing that we wanna do when we're balancing, it's gonna surprise you, it's where we gaze, it's our eyes. So when you're in a balancing pose, you have to keep your eyes very still. So you don't need to look at me. I'd like you to look out to the horizon. Imagine you're looking at something really far away. Okay, double check that your line is in line. You've got the hips above the knees, above the second, third toe. You can hold on to your chair. We're gonna shift the weight to the right foot and we're gonna lift this left knee. Again, see if you're popping that hip, drop it down nice and level. Some of you may be interlacing or doing it on the one. It's a challenge to keep this level, but this is one of the reasons why we can't balance is that hike. Now maybe you can open that hip. Maybe you can put the foot on the lower leg. Maybe not today, right? Maybe you're gonna put the toes down and lean the heel. Hands in prayer. We are always balancing, right? Gravity wants us to be in a pile. So we are always balancing. So I like to feel like we're dancing with gravity. Even now as we're standing on one leg, can you feel, it's kind of fun, right? It doesn't have to be like, oh, ohm. it doesn't have to be all that. It's just a, a sense of being stable and at ease, flowing with gravity, finding the ride here. Three and two and close that hip. Make a cool sound there. And you guessed it, dance break. A little shimmy, dance break, a little shimmy. Dance break, little shimmy, turn the head, turn the head, and shimmy, and turn the head, and turn the head, and spin around. Show off your jeans, spin around. Show off your jeans. I didn't say I was a singer. Okay, here we go, we're gonna take our chair. I'm sweating, are you sweating? I'm telling you, this yoga's magic. Come on down. So if we are stable and we are at ease, then we're clear. We're clear about who we are. We're clear about how we show up in our relationships. We embrace the life that we have and the time that we have to live in our lives fully and wholly, right? Yoga is a path of wellness. It has
has nothing to do with these poses. There's a whole realm to yoga. How we breathe, how we treat ourselves, how we treat others, how we focus our mind, how we learn how to listen to our inner wisdom, how we quiet the voices of others, and how we really lean into this divine, this place beyond just us. It's a beautiful path, and I'm so glad that you're here joining me on this path of wellness, where we align our body, our mind, and our spirit, where we align how we feel with how we show up. We develop a sense of living congruently. We say, we are, we do. So I'm really excited you're here. I'm excited that we are all here together. So we're gonna to end today with a feeling and a sense of gratitude. This is one of my very favorite feelings, is to lean into the idea of feeling appreciation for where we are. So finding your hands to your heart, sitting up nice and tall. What are you grateful for? How about the breath, this time we've had together, the blue sky, the birds, your family. So just taking three or four breaths, just feel full of gratitude. I'm so grateful to you. I'm so glad you're here. And as always, may this work be of benefit to you. Deep bows to you all. I will see you next time.